Hello everybody, welcome to my channel, Delightful Creations. I'm Amber. I'm so happy you stopped by my channel today. This is the final journal that I have made and ready to go off to Miss Lindsay. She is a two signature, 200 page, nine by six journal. It is fabric, vintage fabric covered. It is a beautiful belief is what I have named her. And this one was the one I was going to keep for myself, but I, I loved it so much and I wanted to share it and put it out there in the world. And I hope that whoever purchases her will definitely treasure this one. So this one has a special place in my heart because it has all of my favorite things in here. We have a butterfly button on there that I hand sewed. And then we have purple embroidery floss, big crochet doily, a couple of buttons, which are wooden buttons. God loved us first, a little project life card. Open this up. We have some vintage music paper here that says, I must tell Jesus. So it is definitely a face inspired journal. I have a see-through pocket here. It says forever with the candles in the background. And then this one is just a fold over scrapbook of paper. Beautiful, beautiful paper. I love that. And so in here we have lots of purples and fuchsias with vintage paper. Here's a little tuck spot down here with a tag in there. And I have flipped personally through this journal, I think, about 10 times. I just love it so much. Vines and climbers. I was thinking about Jesus being the vine. And we have a lace tab here. A couple of them throughout the journal. Not too overly decorated in my opinion. But a big book page here with a double tuck. Lots of goodies in there. And just a little bit of nice pink stamping here. Just subtly. Really is meant to inspire journaling and you know, whatever inspires you and brings you faith and, you know, happiness and whatever your beliefs are. Between friends, words are optional. Sometimes we just need to sit in silence and, you know, I do that a lot. See, here we have a friend can tell how your day has been by the way you say hello. Coloring page. This is a journal, uh, not journal, ledger paper page that I folded up and added a little banner cluster there. The tiniest, well it's not tiny, but a pretty decent scrap here of my Prima paper. Beautiful vellum paper that was printed on. Of course that one says coffee. So truly, truly a beautiful journal. This is avocado dyed paper. Another tea, purple tea dyed doily. I say another because there was another one in a different journal. The mason jar cuteness. Oh my goodness. And a lace tab there. This is actually Tim Holtz wallpaper. A little fold up here. You can tuck your journaling in here. Also have a little pull out here on a collage. And then I did some stamping along the edge here. The middle of this signature has just a little pop of purple down there in the center of that flower. And back through here, sorry I was listening to the children. There's a little tab there that I glued on just for fun. This is just paper clipped in some fun pages to play around with. Coffee and sunshine, who doesn't like that? <laughs> I sure do. I enjoyed my coffee this morning. And this is a bird tag. Got some donuts to go with the coffee, with the friends, with the good time. You know, maybe you're, you know, you're chatting it up. This is a little flip over. I've never done that before. It's glued down on the other page. Um, you could certainly glue that down and turn it into a tuck if you wanted, but I thought it was neat just to have a little flip. A little cluster here. Handmade postcard there. We have the French paper. Beautiful scrapbook paper. This is a book page that I hand doodled on. Tuck spot right there. It says rise above. So much fun. I had so much fun making this journal. Oh, and then the, the stenciling along the edge of this flip out. Book page. Vintage music paper. So there's quite a bit of sewing in here as well. Let me get to the center signature. Oh, yes, indeed. Two things tucked into that pocket. White page. This is pink sewing that I did a long, long time ago that was in the bottom of the scrap box. This fun purple textured paper. Stenciling here that I did and then my son came along when he was playing with the stamps and uh, did that when I had already sewn it in the signature and I decided to leave it because <laughs> it's a little piece of my son um, that somebody can cover up for sure. But um, yeah, I was a little bit upset but I decided to leave it because it was such a pretty paper. Coloring page. Just some interesting stenciling here around a scalloped circle. I like the way that turned out. Some butterflies printed. This I added in. So this is a journal card that I added in and then collaged on the back of and then added another little flip out there just for a little extra journaling space. That is on the back of an uh, envelope tab. So that's what that, that's how I popped that in there. So scrapbook paper. I love this grid here, this grid paper from that book. 
double tuck page here. Actually, this is a triple tuck. One, two, three. Just now seeing that. So fun. A little bit of lace down on the bottom. Beautiful purple paper. Stenciling again. I love this one with the purple flowers. Nice and soft, subtle colors. And then there's just little pops of boldness throughout. And I love this page. I was saving this one forever from a book because I loved it so much. She's writing about her flowers and when they bloom and looking at the photos and coloring. And ah, yeah, that's me. Journaling. That was so cool. And this, I would, if I was going to use this page, I'd put a pocket down here, um, you know, just because I don't like to look at the dirt. But I didn't want to cut it off because then it would be too small of a page. A little label here, a button page, which is left over from one of the other journals. A big piece of vellum. So pretty. It is so pretty. Cream paper. And this is a mixed media page that I collaged on and then painted on and left blank for them to go ahead and keep going with it or put some photos on it or lace or whatever they would like to do there. The inside of this is a beautiful flower. I love it. On the back side, I decided to add the window envelope with a little owl. Just checking in on you. There's a scrap piece of paper in there to write on. And then this one, Memories. The little vintage house right there. Maybe like your childhood home you could write about. Or your grandparents' home, wherever you spent your summers. Faith, Hope, and Blessed. A little faux stitching around there with my purple pen. So you've got little touches of amber here and there, but I tried to keep it really open, and it was so much fun making this. Like I said, it was it was a journal that came together really quickly because this is totally my style of like what I like to create for sure, and adding in different pops of things that I haven't done before. So yeah, definitely will be trying to remember to do these things again in my own journal. See, here's that envelope and I added a purple stamp here where it would go and a little girl down here peeking out. There is a paint chip card inside there. And then back here we have a lace tab. Oops, try to make sure I stay in frame. Coloring page, big, big paper. So this side he didn't goof up too bad. Just a little bit of purple here, but. <laughs> and this one flips out, map page. And to the very back of the journal, it says one big crazy family <laughs> with the heart. I thought that was very fitting um, because, yeah, I think everybody has some crazy in their family. But the very back of the journal it says no other one but Jesus. And that is the beautiful end of this lovely journal called Beautiful Belief. Thank you, everybody, for stopping by my channel. I hope you enjoyed this and found some inspiration here. Have a great day, everybody. We'll talk to you really soon. Bye-bye.